Hello, in this tutorial we're going to build a document library that can look at the data from the external data source. So the first thing we're going to do is go through and add a new document library. And we're going to name that document library customer quotations. With inside the customer quotations document library, we're going to go through and create a new column. And that new column could be just a simple single line of text column. But the problem is, is when users go to fill out that column, they're going to maybe mistype some of the customer names or they're going to use abbreviations. And that will affect the consistency of the data when we're attempting to build views or also pass filters through to the document library. So for that reason, we can look up from the external data using our Business Connectivity Services external content type. So by selecting the external content type and clicking OK, we can go through and choose the column that is going to be stored. So we're going to store the company name value. And we're also going to display some other columns as well, such as the address, city, country and postal code. Once we click onto OK, you'll notice that we can go through and upload documents to this document library. So as we browse through to any document at all, we'll click open. And you'll notice that as well as being prompted for the name and the title of the document, we're also prompted for the company name. So rather than just typing in a value, I'm able to go through and select a value from the underlying database. So here we'll select the uh, SJ Messenger, click onto OK and hit Save and that information has been written to the document. Now not only that, we can also go through and create new documents. So if we create a new document inside the document library, notice that we can go through and insert these things called quick parts. So we're going to give this document a title of customer quotation and put the word for and uh, in there we're going to uh, navigate to the insert ribbon and then under quick parts we're going to go and grab the customer name column and we'll go through and also format that so that it looks pretty so we'll uh, we'll set that through as a heading we'll then have the customer address and we'll insert some other quick parts which include the address the city the postal code and the country and then we can go through and write the body of our document now you'll also notice that those properties are also displayed on the document information panel as would any custom column inside a document library. But the nice thing about this one is we can simply click inside the company name column, choose the picker and using this picker we can go through and select a document such as Consolidated Holdings UK. So we'll select that and notice that it's written the customer address details to the document as well. It's also populated the document information panel at the top so each of the columns are associated there. Uh, we can now provide a heading and we can click on to save and save our document into the customer quotations and now let's navigate back to SharePoint and you'll notice that that document has been created just a few seconds ago with the properties that we'd set 